the Food and Drug Administration authorized booster shots of Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine for elderly Americans and people who face an elevated health risk from COVID-19 on Wednesday, days after the agency's advisory panel endorsed offering extra vaccine doses to some vulnerable people but voted AGA. As we learn more about the safety and effectiveness of COVID-19 vaccines, including the use of a booster dose, we will continue to evaluate the rapidly changing science and keep the public informed. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's advisory board is meeting Wednesday and Thursday t. Members of VerbPak unanimously backed Pfizer booster shots for elderly and high-risk patients last week, but voted 16-2 to 2 against extra doses for everybody ages 16 and up. Some members of the panel said there still isn't enough data to conclude that most patients need a third vaccine dose, or that Pfizer's vaccine has grown less effective over time at staving off severe illness and death. The vote disrupted the Biden administration's plans to distribute extra vaccine shots en masse, though Dr. Anthony Fauci, the federal government's top infectious disease expert, told CNN on Sunday he expects more data on booster shots to arrive in the coming weeks, this is not the end of the store. Johnson & Johnson said Tuesday a second shot of its single-dose vaccine strengthens patients' protection against symptomatic COVID-19 cases. More data on booster shots for Moderna and Johnson & Johnson's COVID-19 vaccines is expected in the coming weeks, Fauci told NBC's Meet the Press Sunday. FDA advisory panel recommends against Pfizer COVID boosters, except for people over 65, Forbes.